Swanky. Fundraising? We had dinner with the dean of Fairfield University. Actually, I'm planning on enrolling in the fall. Mm. Master's degree. Yeah, good luck. Really? In what? Psychology. Mm. I should go. Don't rush off. You can finish your milkshake. What? The Henry one. You give him a sip of yours. Since when are you not trying to chase Dawn off? I wanted to let you know that the movers are going to come on Wednesday to pick up my furniture. What time do you want me to be there? Man. Not at all. <laughs> How much do you need right now? I'll leave a check. 500? Who's moving you? The New York Jets? <laughs> What's she doing here? It's too much. I can't do it by myself. Well, you should have asked me. You're too busy. Sit down, oh, Shelly. So it's seven, nine, eight. Well, this certainly is a two man job. <laughs> So you just fly to Los Angeles for the weekend? Isn't that tiring? How do you go to sleep at night knowing that the Manson brothers could be running around? Good morning. <laughs> Manson family. Are they coming in? I'm sure there are some brothers in that family, so... Those are the ones she's afraid of, the brothers. She's fine with the sisters. You have a call from a Nicholas Constantinopoulos? <laughs> Evening. Can I get you something from the bar? Are you expecting? What the hell? Are you working two jobs, or did you try to run from him? Hello, it's Diana. You know the waitress. Glad you called. I didn't think you were gonna. I was pretty mad. How did you find me? Why don't we have a drink? I've already got one. How about you answer the question? How did you find her? One waitress in New York. It's three in the morning. You know why you're here. Oh, dude, why? <laughs> That's something I really dislike in general. Shortly before a show ends, they introduce new characters. You? No children. Diana? She's never been here! You crazy! Oh, never mind. <laughs> She probably was lying about not having kids. I lied to you. Already? I have a little girl. I had a little girl. You should go. It's my house. <laughs> Don't you have to get ready for work? Well, yeah, but I won't leave you alone in my apartment. So, get out of here. Oh! Hello, Don. Hello, Arnold. Look who's alive. <laughs> <laughs> Prepped the whole restaurant home, did you? <laughs> we should play squash sometime. You know, if you have the energy. Arnold! Sounds like fun. How many girls have you had in this elevator? That's not what that was. No, that was just drunk Arnold. <laughs> I'm not like you. I don't spend my whole life feeling ashamed. Don't be a bitch. I am not a servant here to wait on her while, while she goes for lunch. <sighs> I know you don't understand this, but it's for my career. What a snooze fest. Who cares about this family? Who cares about that weird photographer? Who cares about that waitress? Megan's moving her things today. They want to punish you. <laughs> and then you get mad and you want to punish them, but you know it's your fault. The evolution of Pete's hair is just awful. <laughs> Fill the whole truck. That was what we agreed. I told you it was gonna be more. I have three hundred and fifty dollars. That's enough for me to leave it on the sidewalk. That's extortion, lady. You are a pain in my ass. Uh, were they supposed to take everything? Where is everything? On the truck. Pay him. Don agreed to this. It was very generous. I hate what he did to my daughter. What are you doing? She just wants to examine that mustache. Who knows what secrets it holds. You are every man's fantasy. You should be the most famous person in the world right now. Can't believe Don threw you away. <laughs> He's not a loyal person, but I am. You don't think he could have helped you? 
I'm willing to put my money where my mouth is. How was he supposed to help? As an admin in New York? I have a room upstairs. It has a phone. I could make some calls. I'm not interested. Maybe you're in this situation because of how you're reacting to this. <laughs> Hold on. Fuck you. Forget all that. <laughs> Spit it in his face. <laughs> Where the fuck is everything? Roger. Fucking nerd. I'm late for a meeting. What a bitch. I guess you don't care that she's married to my father. What's my idea? <laughs> you don't get to stand in judgment of me. You deserve all the judgment in the world. This little cheating thief. I think I should warn you. We had lunch and uh, she's not stable, Don. She said a lot of crazy things and I'm sure we'll continue to say them. <laughs> to say a word I wasn't gonna give you the satisfaction of knowing that you ruined my life what exactly has you done why did I believe the things you said to me why am I being punished for being young I gave up everything for you because I believed you what the fuck like you got nothing out of this are you kidding me <laughs> you're right you're gonna write me a check I want you to have whatever shuts you up <laughs> a million dollars. Why are you doing this to me? It's not funny. I don't want to fight anymore. I don't care. She's leaving, Papa! So what? You know kids anymore. What the fuck? I had two children. My oldest is in Racine with her father. So she's not completely alone. I'm sure she's fine. When I was with you... I forgot about her. I don't ever want to do that. Such a shame. We had such a nice thing going. <laughs> At least you still have your TV. <laughs>